So the way that the monitoring works is uh, largely up to us, but we need to set up the project such that it can receive it. So for example, if you want to do a spatial format and you want to deliver in something like Dolby Atmos, you need to set up your project in order to uh, work properly with that. Because Atmos, as one of the new formats out there, it's bringing in a lot of its own simulation data. And now those sound sources aren't just sound sources. They are actually have other data associated with them. And there's limitations on how many of these objects you can have. But they're sound objects now. They're not just sounds that are playing in your speakers. We all, you still also have sounds playing in your speakers that we'll call our bed uh, layer. But that's one of the, the complexities that uh, we're facing now. Because especially with COVID and all the work from home, not everyone has a standard monitoring environment. And even if we did have standard speakers across everyone, everyone's home situation is different. So the voicing of them, not to mention their own proclivities or however their ears are, are kind of attuned for their, their own uh, sense of mixing, you know, that doesn't guarantee that we have standard monitoring either. So one of the really nice things with the LCD Xs is that we were able to distribute them to everyone. So whether you're a senior engineer or an intern, everyone gets one of these pairs of headphones. So no matter what our own monitoring environments might be, because let's say someone's work from home office might be a horrible environment for me. They also might be working on monitors that just don't work for me um, and I just cannot produce good results. The only way to really solve that is to make sure everyone has these pair of headphones. And I also wanted to make sure that everyone had really accurate headphones. I didn't want to have any um, compromises uh, that end up having people doubt their own work. Because that's really what we're trying to get past and why we wanted something really high quality for everyone is, yes, it needs to translate. Yes, they need to sound great. They need to be detailed. They need to be clinical if they need to be clinical and uh, all that. You win, basically make sure that your fidelity is as high as you can. But what I'm really after is decision making and cutting down decision making and increasing confidence in decision making. That process is what's going to keep us on schedule. It's going to be what also lets us get ahead. And the more we can get ahead, the more we have freedom to pursue things that are purely audio objectives and not us responding to other priorities. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but the more space you can create for yourself, and I find the most effective way of doing that is helping, doing whatever we can to cut down people's decision-making time. And most importantly, especially for junior guys, if they're in a really good monitoring, they can improve faster. So even the juniors on my team, they get better faster because they don't have to ask themselves, do I just not know what to do here? Is it my speakers because I'm early and I can't afford nice speakers? Is it this? I mean, these headphones are okay, but like, would I admit that I'm mixing on these headphones? You know. All of that stuff, you can help reduce it. And also when you have people auditioning content for other people remotely and everyone's listening on the same headphones, now our common language really makes sense. So we don't have a normal client relationship like a post house would have potentially or an independent post house where you have a client reviewing mixes and coming back with feedback. For us, it's more just making sure that we have a common language. And I find that the headphones help with that and it allows us to be in a work from home situation and not have to save our notes for, all right, well, let's wait until you're back at the studio before we review this stuff. It really allows us to have flexibility. And it's also something that even the junior guys working with us, they're just also so happy to have that quality of equipment that everyone, everyone is more invested in the work. And that's been my favorite result uh, of using them. Uh, so when we first started in COVID, one of the problems that we had was everyone had a different listening environment. And amidst everyone's just already having natively different ears, there were certain problems that would come up in certain people's work frequently. Over time, I was able for my seat to determine, oh, this person must have, a, have uh, some trouble monitoring on 200 hertz, whether it's a room problem, gear problem, something wrong that I find I'm having to give a correction along that uh, very frequently. As soon as we got the LCD Xs and distributed them, it really tamed down on a lot of that. So everyone's work, if they had problems, now it wasn't a monitoring question or a way that they had to question themselves, like, wait, is it there or is it not there? They were able to just make faster decisions and that cut down their iteration time, which cut down in our production time for everything and made everyone more efficient. But the nice thing was there was no policies involved. There was no, hey, just work faster. It was a natural result of just having better tools. And that's exactly what I was after when I first picked up a set myself to test them out at home and then immediately requested that we get them for everyone at work.